This is the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. First, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Next, we need to apply heat to the back plate using a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic back plate. The glass camera lens covers can be removed by applying heat and gently prying them off. Here's a look at the other side. There are 17 Phillips screws that need to be removed. Next, the graphite film and wireless charging coil needs to be peeled off from the bottom speaker assembly. And the top plastic cover can be lifted up. But be careful since the cable for the wireless charging coil is still connected. The cable needs to be disconnected from the main board. And then it can be removed. The wireless charging coil is in the center. And the graphite film helps transfer heat. Here's a look at the back and there's a layer of graphite on the back of the plastic cover. The earpiece speaker is also located on top. Now that we have access to the battery cable, we're going to disconnect that first. Once that's disconnected, we can proceed to disconnect the rest of the cables. Disconnect the front facing camera. The front facing camera is glued in place, so taking it off will probably damage it. There are two millimeter wave 5G antennas. One is located on the top corner and the other one's located on the side over here. Some variants of this phone might not come with the millimeter wave 5G antennas, but that does not mean the phone does not have 5G. These millimeter wave antennas are just used for networks that use the 5G millimeter wave technology. There's a single Phillips screw holding on the main board that needs to be removed. Now we can lift up and remove the main board. There's a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 12 megapixel wide lens, and an 8 megapixel telephoto lens. The primary wide angle lens has a YS, as well as the 8 megapixel telephoto lens. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. The LED flash is located here, and there's a secondary microphone on the top. The proximity sensor is located on the back, and there's a graphite pad over the back shields. Once the graphite pad is peeled off, we can see thermal paste on top of the RAM and processor. And this variant of the phone has a Snapdragon 888 processor. Now the speaker assembly can be removed. There are some antenna lines drawn on the speaker assembly which are these light gray color lines. The speaker also has those white small foam balls underneath the black tape. Once the speaker is removed, we can see a rubber gasket and filter over the speaker opening on the frame. We can also see the flex cable which connects the screen to the main board, which can also be disconnected from the screen itself, as well as the flex cable which connects the main board to the subboard, and there's another one right there, and the fingerprint reader cable located here. There are three Phillips screws which are holding down the subboard that need to be removed. Now the subboard can be lifted up and removed. There's a rubber gasket around the charger port. The primary microphone is located here. And the SIM reader is located on the back side. There's a rubber gasket and filter over the microphone opening. The fingerprint reader is held down with adhesive, so if you needed to replace that, you'd have to gently apply heat and pry it off. In order to remove the battery, there are no pull tabs to help pry the battery off, so we're going to have to use some isopropyl alcohol and get some around the edges of the battery and let it sit there for about 30 seconds to a minute so it eats away at the adhesive underneath, making it easier to pry the battery off. Here's a better look at the battery. Once the battery is removed and the film is peeled back, we can see a copper vapor chamber which runs underneath the battery and the motherboard. The millimeter wave 5G antenna can be removed by just pulling it out.
There's a metal bracket holding the power button and volume keys in place, and that can be removed by just pulling it out. At that point, you could pull out the flex cable. If you needed to replace the actual physical keys, you would have to push out on the keys from the inside. So they'd be removed by pulling them out. And finally, the vibrator motor is located here on the side and it's held down with adhesive. If you needed to replace the screen, you would have to remove the back plate, the screws on the bottom speaker assembly and remove the speaker assembly. At that point, you'd have access to the screen cable. You would disconnect that. Heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry your old screen off, apply new adhesive, reapply your screen and reassemble the phone. For the repairability score, I give this phone a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.